finishing up with this set of notes, uh, these different types of reproduction are going to show up again in some of the other animal groups that we cover here on out. So how best to remember them? Well, the first clue is in the names themselves. Uh, OV, uh, OVA, OVUM, OV, all refer to an egg. So anytime you see that in the name, oviliparous, oviviparous, ovoviviparous, you're talking about some kind of reproduction that involves an egg. Vivi, or vivo, means live. So anytime you see vv or vivo in reproduction, you're probably talking about something that has to do with life. There we get viviparous, or vivipary, which is when you have live young, and ovoviviparous, or ovoviviparous, where you have live young that were born from an egg, because it's ovo and vivi. Oviparous is just an egg, so just oviparous, and then oviliparous. It's similar. You have an egg for reproduction, and it's just happening outside of the body of the female. And we'll close out with this uh, short video that gives you a look at what shark reproduction uh, end product is. I'll try to kill the video here for you. And I'll probably uh, audio on this, and I'll try to cut through uh, some of this pretty quickly, no pun intended, as this guy is cutting through the shark. Uh, what has happened here is on the beach, uh, some folks have come across this shark has, that has beached itself. Uh, it is dead, and they noticed as it was sitting here on the beach that there was some movement inside of it, and somebody correctly determined that this shark actually had some babies, so it was pregnant. So this is kind of an impromptu shark dissection going on on the beach, and this fellow is cutting through the skin and the outer wall of the muscle. It's pretty dense. You can see there's a lot of tissue that he's cut through there on the shark. Uh, and it should be noted that sharks are not the most pleasant smelling uh, when you do dissections. Uh, the fish oil has, is very pungent, and he's trying to get through uh, the body cavity into where uh, the baby sharks are. And if you started singing the baby shark song, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but he is, it looks like they tried to go in a little bit farther up on the body and were not close enough. And so now he's cutting out where the guts are and getting closer to where the sharks are. And I'm going to see if I can speed up my playback here. Try to get this in at maybe uh, at least one and a half times speed. And I'll probably, let's see if we can just bump ahead a little bit. Pulling out more of the guts, poking and prodding, and now you can see that movement that originally attracted them to this dead shark carcass, because why else would you be poking at a dead shark carcass? unless you saw something else going on in there. Uh, and he's got a pretty sharp pocket knife. Um, hopefully he's not cutting those sharks up. Um, I don't think he does any damage to them, but he seems to be trying to be at least a little bit careful there. And he's cutting through all of these membranes to where the baby sharks are. Now you can see him moving quite a bit inside of there. Pulling the last of the tissue away around the shark. That one didn't look to be moving. There's some movement going on in there. That one's definitely alive. 
and he's going to toss it back out in the water and give that sucker a fighting chance so that baby gets another uh, day to try to survive. Going back to the mom. Looking to see if there's anything else alive in there. And it looks like there is at least one more. Uh, now, if he had not done this, if he had just uh, left the shark on the beach, which is probably what most people would do, uh, those sharks, those baby sharks probably would not have survived. Uh, they would have died inside the mom. Uh, is there one more in there? Can he save another shark pup? Oh, it looks like there might be some movement. It's hard to tell if that's just the guts spilling out or if he's if there was another baby inside. All right, looks like that's it. All right, so again, that gives you an idea of how uh, live birth in a shark is possible. And that's it for fish, which is the first uh, several groups of phylum chordata that we're covering. And we will start moving into new classes for our last few units.